Welcome to Teddy Bear Tuck-In Time. If you've ever wanted to be read to and tucked in by a teddy bear, you've come to the right place. My name is Hope, and I'm an ambassador of Honey Grove. This program is for the hinterlands and beyond. Oh, please go to my blog at honeygrovebears.com. Hit subscribe. Over there, you can read more about the author and the books I'm about to read. Okay, now that you've done that, it's time to get tucked in. Settle in. Oh, and ready to read. Hello, little ones. It's me, Hope, again. Today I got a friend with me. Actually, it's my little brother, Beep. Hello, I'm Beep. Beep's going to help me read. Are you all tucked in and ready for the story? You better be. All right, good. Today I'm reading The Little Bear Stories. It's a big book. It's a collection of stories about Little Bear by Martin Waddell, and they're illustrated by Barbara Firth. I'm going to play Little Bear. And I'll be Big Bear. The first story, or the story for this episode, will be called, Can't You Sleep, Little Bear? Once, there were two bears, like you and me. Big Bear and Little Bear. Big Bear is the Big Bear, and Little Bear is the Little Bear. They played all day in the bright sunlight, and when night came and the sun went down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. That looks cold. It is. There's snow everywhere, trees. There's the cave. I see it. I love trees. Big Bear put Little Bear to bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, Little Bear, he said, and Little Bear tried. Big Bear settled in the big chair, read his bear book by the light of the fire, but Little Bear couldn't go to sleep. He's just like me. Oh, look. He looks just like me. He does. He's under the covers. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? asked Big Bear, putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting part, and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark? said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Big Bear looked, and he saw the dark part of the cave was very dark. So he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the tiniest lantern that was there. Big Bear let, lit the tiniest lantern and put it near to Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to stop you being scared, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Now, go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Oh, it's a tiny little red lantern. He looks so cozy. He does. I wish that was me. Hopefully it will be soon. Little Bear tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? yawned Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just four pages to go to the interesting bit and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you a lantern, said Big Bear. Only a teeny weeny one said Little Bear, and there's lots of dark. Oh, well, Big Bear looked, and he saw that Little Bear was quite right. There was still lots of dark. So, Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and took out a bigger lantern, and Big Bear lit the lantern and put it beside the other. Oh, look, there he is. He's got the big lantern, 
and the covers are in disarray and the plushies out of the bed. <laughs> it's gonna be okay now. Now, go to sleep, little bear, said Big Bear. And he padded back to the big chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? grunted Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just three pages to go and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like that dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear? The dark all around us said Little Bear. But I brought you two lanterns, said Big Bear. In a tiny one, a big one too. Not much bigger. Uh, <laughs> not much bigger, said Little Bear. And there's still lots of dark. Sorry, I was dozing off there. I was looking at the pictures. They're very nice pictures. They yeah. are. Big Bear thought about it, and then he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the Biggest lantern of them all. Oh boy. With two handles and a bit of chain. He hooked the lantern up above Little Bear's bed. Mm -hmm. I see that. I brought you the biggest lantern of them all, he told Little Bear. That's to stop you being scared. Oh, thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear. Curling up in the glow and watching the shadows dance. Now go to sleep, little bear, said Big Bear. And he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Oh, that's a big, big lantern. I think little bear looks very happy about that. Oh, you can see more of his room, too. Look at all those toys. Wow, it really was dark. What a, what a blessed little bear. Yeah. Oh, what's next? <laughs> Little Bear tried and tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear, groaned Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just two pages to go and padding over to the bed. Look. I don't think he's scared of the dark. No. I think he's just high energy. Now there's so much light. scared, said Little Bear. Well, why are you scared, Little Bear? Asked Big Bear. I don't like that dark. What dark? Asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you the biggest lantern of them all, and there isn't any dark left, said Big Bear. Oh, yes, there is, said Little Bear. There is out there. And he pointed out of the barricade at the night. Oh. Little bear looks upset. Yeah, it's a little spooky. Yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen. I don't like spooky. Oh no, they're walking into it. <laughs> Big bear saw that little bear was right. Big bear was very puzzled. And the lanterns, and all the lanterns in the world, wouldn't light up the dark outside. Big bear thought about it for a long time, and then he said, come on, little bear. Where are we going? Out. Out, said Big Bear. Out into the darkness, said Little Bear. Yes, said Big Bear. But I'm scared of the dark. No need to be, said Big Bear. And he took Little Bear by the paw and led him out from the cave into the night. Oh, no. And it was... It was... Dark! Cuddling up the big bear. Big bear lifted little bear and cuddled him and said, Look at the dark little bear. And little bear looked. Oh, it's really dark. There's a lot of light in the cave. Oh. Big bear's going to protect little bear. I brought you the moon, little bear, said big bear. The bright yellow moon and the twinkly stars. Oh, look at them. 
Big Bear's holding Little Bear, and they're looking at the big moon and the stars. There's a lot of light out there. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, and there's a lot of love, too. Lots of love. Lovings. Lots of lovings. But Little Bear didn't say anything, for he had gone to sleep, warm and safe in Big Bear's arms. Big Bear carried Little Bear back into the bear cave fast asleep, and he settled down with Little Bear on one arm of the bear book, on the other, cozy in the bear chair by the fire. Aww, oh, he looks so sleepy. He's safe. Oh, there they are. They're in his book. <laughs> They're reading his book. And Big Bear read the bear book, right? Two. 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 Right, two. The end. The end. Oh, he fell asleep. I'm getting sleepy, too. Are, Are you, you, Beep? Yeah, I've been there for a little while. Okay, let's... Well, I hope you enjoyed it, little ones. And if you're afraid of the dark, maybe your mama or your papa can put a nightlight on for you. But yeah, I'll bring you the moon. Or bring you the moon. That's right. We're going to go to sleep now. Yeah. All right. I'll lean on your shoulder. You lean on mine. Okay. I'll close the book. Good night. Don't forget, subscribe.